hope you're all okay and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be sitting down and filming a video all about my new teeth because I've had a ton of questions, a ton of emails. Honestly, I've had so many people ask me questions about my teeth. So I thought it would just be easier to sort of sit down, just make a whole video all about the procedure about what I've had done, about the cast, just giving you like a full overview about what I did get done to my teeth. Because I know a lot of you are interested in getting it done yourself, so I feel like this video will really help you. Because to be honest with you, when I was looking to get my teeth done, I didn't really feel that there was that many like videos made on composite veneers. So yeah, hopefully this video will help you. Like I said, I'm not going to ramble too much. I'm going to get straight into it because there's a lot to get. So yeah, if you want to hear more about what I've had done to my teeth, then please continue watching. Okay, so first things first is why I had my teeth done. I'm just going to quickly tell you why I had my teeth done because a few of you might be like, why did you get your teeth done? You didn't really need them done. So I appreciate I probably didn't have the worst teeth in the world, but I just was a little bit insecure about them. I make videos for a living, so it's like... I feel that you do pick fault with yourself a little bit more when you're watching yourself back and I didn't like my top teeth in particular just because they was crossing over in the middle, they was like not the same sort of shape, they was like really kind of steppy and yeah it's always something that I've been looking into getting done. So basically I came across an Instagram page and it was Dr Andy McLean's. He works at Kiss Dental in Manchester and I just absolutely loved his work. From like the moment I seen his work I just knew that was where I wanted to go. Obviously I had to go and check it out, I wouldn't just like book in and go anywhere but I knew a lot of people that had been to him and had work done, um, I knew that he was really good because I'd spoke to them as well. So I pretty much already made my mind up that that's where I wanted to go because I knew he had a really good reputation, I knew a lot of my friends and like other people that had been to him so yeah I knew I was going to be in good hands, I knew he was good ultimately at what I wanted done. But the first thing I initially did was ring up and book a consultation, um, my consultation was free of charge, I think there was like a £10 um, deposit um, just obviously in case you don't turn up you know it's going to waste their time isn't it so yeah it is a free consultation but I believe I just had to give like a £10 sort of like security deposit on the phone so yeah so I gave them that I then went to my consultation the consultation itself was around about I'm going to say 40 minutes maybe um 30 to 40 minutes yeah it was, it was quite long I wasn't just in and out so basically I went in I explained to Andy what I didn't like about my teeth what I wanted done and um, he had like a good look around all my teeth and everything make sure like my oral hygiene's like up to scratch and everything um you know had a look was obviously talking to the dental nurse and telling her loads of things that I don't even know what it meant. Um, and then after he'd done all of that and had a good look, like 10, 15 minutes later, he then went through with me what he advised and thought that I needed doing. So he advised me that I should get done eight composite veneers just on the top set. Maybe another two if I needed it, but he only thought that I'd need eight because my smile only seen the first eight teeth on the front set then advise you on the price as well and then obviously at this point if you do want to whiten your teeth you will also get that option offered to you there's two options for teeth whitening you can either go there and have it done or you can simply buy a kit to take away with you which is about 200 pound I think and you get your molds done there and then um and yeah that's that so that's really the first appointment so it's just obviously going through what you may want done or what he thinks you need doing advice and advise in on that um and then you're not pressured or anything, it's not like you need to book in now if you want them done. Um, but if you do want to book in, you can book in straight away, um, just pay a deposit, you could pay it in full, however you want to pay, that's entirely up to you. But I'm pretty sure there is a deposit that is required. So yeah, that is that. So like I said, initially they will tell you the cost and honestly I was actually so, so surprised how much it cost because... I don't know, I had massive numbers in my head, I thought it was going to cost so much, but it actually doesn't, and this is the main difference between composite veneers and porcelain veneers, the cost is generally five times cheaper than what porcelain veneers would. I'm going to go through like pros and cons and everything as I get on in the video, but yeah, initially, like, I didn't realise that obviously these veneers compared to porcelain veneers are so, so much cheaper. So, I'm going to tell you the cost. The cost for mine, obviously I, you get this to go take away with you. It just tells you your treatment plan um, and you get a sheet. So for me and my veneers, it was £295 per tooth. Um, I had one that was £350, so maybe there was something um, like 
more major that needed doing to that tooth I think. I had eight composite veneers and they were two, nine, five each and like I said one was 350. So in total that came to two, four, five, five for my top set of teeth. If you want teeth whitening like I said that's another 200 pound on top. Um, so yeah that's how much mine cost. I like to be quite upfront about it, it's nothing to hide and also I just feel that you know it's interesting to know how much it is going to cost. I feel like people always shy away from how much things cost and I'm not one to do that, like, I'm not. I'm completely upfront with you, I'll tell you how much things cost. I've paid for this myself, it's money that I've worked hard for, so yeah, like, I'm just being upfront with you. But yeah, what I would say is don't take that price as that's how much it's going to cost you, because obviously every person is different, everyone's going to have a different cost because everyone's teeth are different, some might be worse than mine, some might be, you know, easier than mine, I don't know, but all I'm saying is, just don't take that as that's how much it's going to cost you, because obviously you need to go get your own consultation done, and have your own price matched for you personally, um, so yeah, that's how much it costs, you can pay it all in one go, you can pay deposit and then pay the rest on the day of your treatment, or you can simply do a treatment plan, so they do 0% finance options I believe for up to two years, you could do it for a year, you could do it for two years, so again, it depends on you, your situation, or just, you know, how you want to pay it, entirely up to you, but yeah, I mean, by all means, take advantage of that, because 0% interest-free credit over a maximum of 24 months is really, really good, so as long as you can pay the monthly your payments, then I don't see a problem with that, um, and yeah, it just helps you out, doesn't it, rather than dipping into your savings and just, like, splurging, like, two and a half grand or whatever on your teeth, you can just pay it gradually over two months, interest-free, easy, no problems, so yeah, like I said, that's consultation and price, so the next thing that I wanted to talk about was, obviously, teeth whitening, if you want to do your teeth, you need to make sure that you whiten them before you go for your appointment and stop a week prior to your treatment because this can then affect the obviously composite veneers going on your teeth and how well they're going to like take to your teeth and stuff so yeah that's in regards to whitening yeah, I got in pretty quick for my teeth to be done it was about four to five weeks after and believe me that is quick because Andy is so so booked up so I was so pleased that I was able to get in so quick because I feel like whenever you go for these things you just want them instantly like you just want to get it done instantly so the next thing I've had a load of questions about is what do they actually do how do they do it do they file your teeth down so obviously I didn't know what was really going on on the day there was no needles involved there was no drilling there was nothing like that there was no pain so as far as me sitting in the chair that is what I can tell you from that experience like there was no pain there was no needles that there was no drilling I actually had to look up what happened to my teeth after I come away and um, because even though like he explained to me you can't obviously see what's going on in your mouth so I wanted to see for myself how it was done and um, I could sort of feel how it was being done but again like I said you can't see your very mouth and you can't see what's being done so what they actually do is composite veneers are basically it's basically like a putty it's like a a material they use, I don't actually know the scientific and the ins and out of it, but it's basically something they use and they place it over your teeth and they mould each individual tooth. So with porcelain veneers, which are five times more expensive, they're obviously customised to each individual tooth that you have and they file and shave your teeth down if there's needles involved and yeah, it's a much longer process, whereas with composite veneers, in short, you can literally walk in and walk out and have a new set of teeth. With porcelain veneers, I think it's a little bit more of a longer process. So as I said, with composite veneers, they sort of like prep your tooth, they then put like a sort of um, putty on it, that's what I'm, what I'm gonna describe it as. They put sort of like a plastic thing on your in, like teeth as well, so that they can obviously concentrate on the individual tooth. So with that being said, it is quite a long appointment because the dentist is obviously taking his time on each individual tooth, like he's working on building up each tooth individually and this is also why they can get rid of like you know if your teeth aren't straight and stuff because they're working on each tooth individually and they're like building it up with sort of like layers of the substance so that is how it works again with the material that they are using with the veneers they can make it whiter so they can obviously it's like whitening in one um, because obviously my teeth wasn't this white when I went in they was quite white because I'd been doing teeth whitening but he said like we'll take you a shade whiter basically the procedure i'm sorry if that wasn't very informative i'm not a dentist so it's quite hard for me to explain because i don't really you know know 
so much in depth about it i just sort of know like the basics and what they do so how long it takes is another question that i got asked and it takes around about three to four hours i was there at half nine and i left at about half twelve one so as you can see that's like 10 11 12 that's about three three and a bit hours um so yeah, like I said, it is quite a lengthy appointment just because they are working on your teeth individually and sort of sculpting them individually. Um, you know, with porcelain veneers, I believe they just sort of like, well, they're drilling your teeth down for one um, and then they're like attaching the porcelain veneer to each tooth. Whereas with this, they're like actually working on your tooth. Like nothing's being done at a lab. It's being worked on in your mouth, you know, as you're laying there. Um, so yeah, that's that. So what I wanted to speak about as well was sort of like the pros and cons of like composite veneers versus, you know, porcelain veneers. Because a lot of people said, why didn't you get porcelain veneers? Why did you go for composite? So for me personally, I think a massive factor for most people is going to be cost. You know, if you're getting porcelain veneers, they can be tens of thousands of pounds. They are so much more expensive than a composite veneer. So yeah, I would say first things first is cost. Porcelain veneers are a lot, lot more expensive than standard veneers. But the second thing also I would say is with porcelain veneers, once you go to porcelain veneers, that's it, there's no turning back. Porcelain veneers involve a lot of like teeth prep first. So like that means like filing your teeth down, drilling your teeth, uh, you know, in some cases, bringing them down to like little stumps and then attaching a porcelain veneer. I'm not saying that's for everyone. So, you know, don't jump on me about that. But I'm just saying, it obviously is going to depend on each person. So yeah, that's that. Like I said, with porcelain veneers as well, once you go to porcelain veneers, if you lose one, then you obviously need to replace it. Whereas with me, I could simply not have mine replaced and just have my normal teeth still under there. Um, another thing I wanted to speak about is like how long they last for, because obviously this is going to differ massively to um, porcelain veneers, trying to think what I'm saying. So with composite veneers, they don't last as long as porcelain veneers. Um, again, it's just going to be one of those things where it depends on you and yourself, like your oral hygiene and um, how you look after your teeth. Um, so yeah, it's it's really going to depend on each individual. But on an average, I would say it could be as little as like four years to eight to ten years. So it, again, it really does depend. But I know people that have had theirs in for like eight years and still got no problems. So yeah, it really does depend. So that's that. So obviously with porcelain veneers, they last a lot much longer. So they last like 10 years plus. Um, my mum's had her veneers in for like, I don't know, like 15 years now and still not had no problems. So yeah, they do obviously last a lot longer, but you, you are paying like five times more. So yeah, you would like to think they would last a lot longer. So yeah, that's that. Another thing is that composite veneers are more prone to staining than your porcelain veneers. But again, it's all dependent on you know how much tea and coffee you drink how much like like stain foody like do you like more stainy foods like how much more of that you eat and stuff um and again you know like if you're brushing your teeth like often there's a lot of like variable factors i think so again you can't say that oh my god they just stain so much more because it's how you look after them i always believe that with everything it's how you look after them um it's like people say you know with composite veneers you know they're more likely to chip and stuff than a standard veneer again it depends what you're eating if you're eating like hard toffees and you're biting into like hard things they are going to be prone to chipping a lot easier and it might happen and um, but again if you just watch what you've eaten and stuff then you're going to be fine so yeah that's that but i mean just because they might be slightly more prone to you know discoloring than normal veneers that doesn't mean i'm not going to be drinking tea and coffee because i love tea and coffee I just like to, I obviously brush my teeth twice a day like most people do anyway. And yeah, I might, I try not to drink too much tea and coffee anyway because I know that it does obviously stay in your tea. So just like a cup, a couple of cups a day, it's absolutely fine. It's not going to make a difference. I'm not too sure if you can actually whiten them. I, I think not, but yeah, don't quote me. Again, I'm not a dentist. I don't really know the full facts and full ins and outs. Um, but I do know that you can go back for like regular like maintenance. So you can go back and have like a polish and a buff just to keep them like, in tip top shape and keep them clean and like as white as possible so yeah i think that's pretty much everything regarding my veneers like i said um you know in general they are more temporary than porcelain veneers but i think on the whole for me i just preferred them not just because they are cheaper but just because you know i didn't want anything like too 
invasive. But yeah, I'm so, so happy with my teeth. Honestly, I couldn't be happier and I couldn't recommend Dr. McLean at Kids Dental enough. Honestly, from start to beginning, he was so professional. He took his time. He really explained to me what he was doing and yeah really really good I just couldn't recommend him enough he's so so helpful as well like you know he obviously went through and explained that if I do have any problems then I can come back and you know I think service like that is something that you always value and always want but yeah like I could like I said I couldn't be any more happy I think like until you get it done you don't realize how much it makes a difference and I feel like with me it's massively boosted my confidence I feel so much more confident now I never used to smile at all I like now I'm just constantly grinning like a Cheshire cat, honestly. I can't stop smiling. I'm so pleased with them. Um, and like I said, definitely recommend them to anyone who's thinking about getting them done or feeling a little insecure and wanting that little pick me up. I will leave all of Dr. McLean's details in the description bar below so you can contact him or Kiss Dental to make yourself a consultation. Um, but yeah, if you do have any further questions that you would like to ask me, because I hope I've covered everything, but if I have missed anything, then just please just pop me a comment in the description bar, not the description bar, the comment bar below, and I will get back to you. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching, guys. I really hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a big thumbs up. Remember to hit the subscribe button, and I shall see you all in my next video. Bye-bye!